Okay, y'all. Today's Monday. Heading to this job. At least today I did order Walmart Plus over the weekend. So I'm not going to this job on an empty stomach like I normally do, which is very healthy. For, I'm in danger because I, it's like I be taking my medications on an empty stomach and force myself through for five hours until I get to the house. So, it is, I wanna say the 24th. So, we got what, six? Cause I wanna say it's 30 days in April plus 15 we got exactly three more weeks at this job and then we'll be on up out of here now and Lou will be getting reprimanded when I was here on Saturday about my punctuality which oh god I guess we really ain't helping matters because it's 8.47. I ain't going to get there until... But see, I'm not going to be as drastically late today. Because number one, I know it's at least one or two other people up in here that will answer the door for me in a timely manner. See, this is why I'm glad I vlog all the way up to the door. Because it's like... Y'all seen that shit firsthand how I knocked on that door. And that helper didn't answer the door. But then they want to say I'm, I'm, I'm drastically late, boy. But I hold myself accountable. <laughs> I did also sit my ass up on that goddamn, uh, that little brick area, that the little enclosure where our trash is at. I set myself up there for about a good 15 minutes before I darn gonna test stuff. And that's only because I had to contemplate whether or not I want to walk all the way back home or not. Cause it's like, I keep dealing with this stress on two fronts. Like waking up this morning, first thing you see is darn on somebody, darn on hides a cooper. Ooh, I'm over it. And it's like I keep saying it, I keep saying it, and the stuff don't be changing. Well, bitch, you, I, yeah, a change got to come somehow, some way. And, and and I know it said it was a 20% chance of rain, but please wait until after I get into the to the building the rain, because it's supposed to be clear all throughout the rest of the day. Only when I post the darn gonna be walking into work, it wants the darn gonna try to rain. It's towards the end of April, right? And it is currently 50 some degrees outside. Like I said, only in North Carolina, where you also have to dress for all four seasons in the same damn day. Because by the time we get out of this mud, we're well, actually supposed to be relatively decent. The day is only going to be like 70 today. Yeah, y'all, 70 degrees is decent for us, <laughs> us in North Carolina. It's not until we start approaching 80s where a bitch starts to get hot. But yeah, y'all, that's my dilemma. Now, Monday it should be smooth selling if I'm on that prep line because we, we did so much meat Saturday. I know damn well they couldn't have possibly gone through all of that. Mm -mm. So we ain't gonna be in no rush behind cutting no meats. So damn sure not no ham. I might get reprimanded coming up in here behind that ham. I don't know. Cause I wanna say, ooh. Now if I cut that ham Friday, but I think I cut it Thursday. Now if I cut that, <laughs> If I cut that last ham Thursday, that's where I might be in trouble. Cause all that ham done went out on Sunday. But if I think if I'm thinking what I'm thinking, that I done cut that ham Friday. But somehow I'm thinking I cut it on the 20th and it goes out on the 23rd. It it, it all depends on them dates is what's gonna save me. Because if, if the meat is able to gar uh, still be used today, that's going to be our saving grace. 
But Lord knows that they have to toss out some more ham behind me. I know they're going to be real mad. And it's like, uh, uh-uh, they removed me. But see, the good news is, we done, um, uh, they got the ice machine fits. And this week, they supposed to be getting the AC fits. So if they do, they're going to decide to finally move me back on over to the regular table, right? At least it will finally be cold. Because I, I, I was on strike. I was like, mm-mm. Well, actually, I really, I didn't have to be on strike because they didn't even darn on attempt to put me over there anyways. I think I was over there on that, um, on that salad side, what, one time this month? That's it. And even then, that was just for a few hours. So I really didn't have to put up too much of a fight to stay over there on that prep side. Although I do be missing making sandwiches. It's like they could at least let me make a sandwich from 11 to 12 to keep my skills up. <clears throat> but see, these motherfuckers don't be thinking about shit like that. It'll be my little one busy day where they short staffed. Then they'll try to call me up and think I should automatically know everything on that board. Even though y'all ain't let me make a sandwich in well over a month. And we got over 20 different sandwiches to offer. About a dozen different soups. <laughs> and then people always want some variations. Uh, it, it's rare that they usually want it all the way as is. But, yeah, y'all, I ain't going to complain too tough. Like I said, 21 more days, 21 more days. Here's to this day going smoothly. Now today, I mean this week is going to be ultimately a very good week because my packages are coming in early. Shout out to Timu. Timu! I know y'all saying diva. You got to find another darn old. <laughs> you got to find another stress relief girl. Then darn on going down to Timu and shopping. <laughs> Because that's also done became a nasty habit. That every time I'm up in my mood, the next thing I know, I find myself on that Tebu app purchasing up some shit. And half of the stuff I always am able to justify in some form of fashion. Um, and I currently got damn near $200 worth of items just sitting patiently in my Amazon <laughs> cart right now because Amazon been feeling neglected. Amazon said, bitch, you've been over there with Tibu all this time. And you just forgot about us. So now I got to circle back on over to Don, dun, 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 Amazon, Amazon. We got to give Amazon some love too. Because we're we trying to keep these abs that are going tight and right. And Lord, I thought that was the police car. I was like, why is the police over there? The way that dark ocean, if you in Fayetteville, you know how these dark on police cars be hiding in the cut just waiting for somebody. They be doing that shit on the freeway too, just be parked all the way up. And then next thing you know, you going over 30 miles. You going 90 and the 60. Next thing you know, wee, wee, wee. just trifling. But anyways, nonetheless, where was we? Yeah, Amazon been feeling neglected. My abs have been feeling neglected. So I need to get me an ab roller. And what I mean by ab roller is the little machine that helps you make, do your crunches a lot more easy and efficient. Because I ain't got much upper body strength. Anything that can help me in the upper body department, I'm here for. The lower body area, I'm good. It's this upper I need some work on. I'm working on improving my flexibility back to my old level of flexibility in addition to getting these abs nice and solid for the summertime so like I said I can justify the purchases even if it's for vanity reasons and it's not really vanity reasons because hell exercising really helps my health it helps make sure my Crohn's disease is not getting the best of me keeps me regulated if you know what I mean. But yeah, I got a Timu order coming in today. 
Uh, I think both packages are coming in today. I don't know. I, they gave me a notification for one of them. But the timeline for it was going to be the 25th to the 29th. So this is the first time my Timu package has actually came in early. I guess they said I guess they said they tired of giving me damn credits. Cause now with my fifth with my next Timu purchase, I can probably use just all my credits to get the damn order. I won't even have to do no darn going after pay or nothing. I probably still will have to. Cause knowing me, whenever I jump on that app, I normally don't purchase nothing less than a hundred dollars. Like I always end up purchasing over a hundred dollars in my cart. I had to refund my shoes because they sent me the complete wrong pair of shoes. So they refunded me $22. Um, so that is that on that. Uh, what else? The refund process was smooth selling. They did put my order in a box because that's what I was scared of. I was like, well, is, is the post office going to provide me with a box or something? Sure enough, they did. They put it in the box for the shoes. I didn't have to pay nothing out of pocket. Because my thing is, I thought it was going all the way to China. And I was going to have to wait, you know, three weeks to it get there. And then another three days for y'all to process the darn old stuff. But since they do have a factory in New Jersey, what they're able to do is ship it back to the New Jersey warehouse, which is phenomenal. Because y'all know I'm over here on the East Coast as well. I'm in North Carolina. Look at the darn on cars being nice for once. Normally they don't be giving a damn about a girl. But yeah. I was able to get them uh, shipped back to New Jersey. And I want to say, hell, my darn on stuff. I shipped it there on Tuesday. I want to say it was Tuesday. It got there by Friday. And they actually refunded me early, if I'm not mistaken. I want to say they refunded me on a um, on a Sunday. So only within two days. And then that's amazing because it was the weekend. Because I just knew, I was like, shoot, I'm not going to be seeing this refund until that Wednesday at the earliest. But no, they actually refunded me on Sunday. So Timu is on phenomenal when it comes to returns. Also, like I said, um, if your order, if you notice that stuff is cheaper within 30 days of your purchase, they will credit your account for the difference. So between them crediting my account, damn, this light ain't changed yet. What the fuck? Okay, there we go. See, this is me. This is why I record. These hoes wonder why I be late, and it be due to darn on. Light taking a sweet time to change. Crackhead drama at the house. I do be having legitimate excuses why I, don't, I be darn on late sometimes. Other times I just don't, like if I'm a half hour late, I just didn't give a fuck. You know, I was not told the to schedule or I just did not give a F that day. What time is it now? Yep, it's nine o'clock right now. And I'm still about five minutes out. But yeah, y'all, Timu was getting credits and everything. I got like 30 some dollars and probably more because I noticed that my recent purchase items have dropped down even further. So shit, safe to say I probably got close to $40 now just in darn on Timu credit. So my next purchase probably be like a hundred dollars worth of stuff the credits will drop it down to 60 and then the paying for will be four payments of 15. but 
yeah, that aside, y'all, I also will be going live this week. Why is this traffic so fucking busy this morning? Usually it be just dead. Everybody be darn on in the office by now. Is everybody running late today? Like, what's going on? But, yeah, y'all. We will finally be going live. So instead of me darn on ranting and telling y'all stuff here and there, I'll be able to finally sit down with y'all. I'm thinking about doing like a Ask Diva Wine anything. Even though no, hardly nobody ever comes up, but I'm going to open it up from like the semi beginning. I'm going to give y'all like a quick 30 minute summary of everything that's been going on with me since the last time I've been live. We're going to darn on reveal some stuff because there's a whole lot to actually reveal that I've been holding on to for like a good minute now. And then something drastic just happened over the past week I got to tell y'all about. So, two major bombshells that I got to, well actually really three, that I got to tell y'all about. And then we're going to open it up, I'd, I'd say for about a good hour, where y'all can just chat with me and literally ask me anything. No question is going to be off limits. Like literally, as long as it pertains to me, you can literally ask me anything. But, Lord, my voice is darn over. See, this is why I hate this darn old weather. I'm not even in the building yet. I, I'm already exposed to the cold, and it's the heat, and it's the cold. I've been slacking on my uh, sea moths. Now that I think about it, I've been so stressed, I ain't even took my sea moths the past couple of days. All right, I'm going to definitely make up for it when I get to the house. I'm going to darn go and <laughs> take about six darn on, on tablespoons when I get to the house. But yeah, y'all, live stream is going to be an Ask Me Anything segment, revealing three things, including one of them. I'm going to go ahead and partially reveal it. I'm going to be out of Fayetteville, North Carolina. Uh, but it's only going to be temporary. But it's going to be extended, though. Like, I'm going to be out of this darn old treacherous city for a couple weeks. Woo! Child, maybe a good surrounding, a different change of surroundings is what a girl finally needs, honey. Because I can't remember... Hell, at least since the pandemic, the last time I've been out of Fayetteville for more than like a day or two. Like I've, I've gone out for like a day or so, but I can't remember the last time that I've took it like an extensive, you know, trip that has had me out of this darn old terrible city for like more than two days. But I'm going to be out of this city for like a couple weeks. And I will tell y'all what's going to have me out of here for a couple weeks. Or maybe even like a month plus. It depends. But anyways, y'all. Let me get on into this job. I'm still about five minutes out. But I'm going to let y'all go now. Because I feel myself getting congested. <laughs> I'm going to talk to y'all. And I know y'all can darn going to hear it and change my voice. So I will see y'all later on this afternoon okay y'all so leaving out for the day oh shit piece of luma on the ground but yeah y'all it is like 2 40 so when i tell y'all it's never a dull day at this job it's never a dull day y'all so let's start off with the fact they put my ass over there on that spud table. I mean, granted I'm doing better on that spud table. This the first day I can say they don't work me the whole day on the spud table. So I ain't had no choice but to learn everything today. So now I can say when I leave this place, I have done everything uh, that is to be done in the back. 
I've done the spud table. I've done the board. I would love to get back to the board before leaving. Uh, and that might happen in lieu of what I'm about to tell y'all next. Well, not right next, but coming up. The manager done came in and graced us with her appearance for the first time in a month. I guess she's darn gonna see it. And she darn gonna come through there regularly. She just selectively darn gonna be there on the days <laughs> that I'll be y'all. She wanted to overanalyze somebody. She cool as hell though. Although she got selective memory loss. Cause it's like, she ain't mentioned nothing about that damn meeting we supposed to have. So with that being said, I'm just gonna send her a formal darn on email come May the 1st. Well, hell, look like I, look like all that extra darn on preparation ain't needed anyways. Cause they already got new employees. They got one uh, girl in the front. Let's see how long she lasts. Honey, hopefully she least lasts by the time I leave here. You know, like, damn. She's like the fifth person I done seen in the front since I've gotten there. And I've only been there since February, y'all. They can't keep nobody in the front to save their lives, honey. And then I seen some chick walking down as I was walking up. I ain't seen her face before. So she must be um, they must have brought her on during the weekday because y'all know normally I'm gone through weekdays. They done started acclimating me back in. So with that being said, I am off tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Ow. Wait a minute, I think that's my co-worker. I think it is. I don't know. Somebody was waving at me. Oh no, her ass ain't supposed to be getting off until like another hour. I know that can't be her. Now I'm curious, who is waving at me in this red car? And they don't turn this way. I hope they ain't trying to turn around and be nosy and see what I'm doing. <laughs> Lord knows that. Oh God. Please tell me they ain't turning around. Please. <laughs> Oh God, I hope I see a red car coming down, y'all. I hope they not turning around. Cause I am so confused. Okay, that's a different car, y'all, okay. See, people be darn gonna recognize me and I don't be halfway recognizing them. The car windows were tinted, y'all, so I was only able to partially see the face. But I know it ain't old girl that I just left because she ain't supposed to get off until like another hour from now. But anyways, what would I what was I saying? Uh, oh yeah, I'm working Wednesday. <laughs> now y'all know the old hell no. Now the good news is the folks supposed to be coming tomorrow to fix the darn on AC. Best case scenario is they spend all day fixing it and it would be darn on fix by the time I come in tomorrow. But they said it can take up to 46 hours for it to get fixed. So that means that it might not be fixed by the time I get there Wednesday. Ugh, I don't know how I feel about that. And speaking of Wednesday, y'all know I haven't worked a Wednesday in the longest i want to say since february because y'all know me and <laughs> me and wednesdays do not get along there's always some bullshit on wednesday now i guess i'm, I'm, I'm going to be optimistic i'm going to be optimistic and say this in lieu of the fact that um for the first time ever i'm working wednesday morning I'm hoping that might change you. Child, here's the hope. Usually things don't tend to work out that way, honey. I 
Um, be my look. I tried to cross and then this light touch. See? Light done turned green. I would have gotten ran over. But yeah, y'all. This will be the first time ever working on a Wednesday morning. Normally they have me in there on Wednesday uh, afternoon. And I, they end up putting me with old boy. Child, it ain't looking too good for old boy back there. The one that used to give me a hard time. I'm starting to hear more and more people complain about him, child. And see, this is the ironic shit. I'm hearing more and more complaints about him being lazy and him starting to rub off on some of the other guys back there. That they go into the bathroom and taking half hour during on breaks. You know, I, I, I could say so many things about them half hour breaks that they be taking, but I, I, I'm, I'm going to keep it cute. I'm, I'm going to keep it cute today. But yeah, they they be taking them half hour breaks on they five hour shifts. Hell, I had to, hell, I got medical issues and they only allotted me uh, 15 minutes that I, I don't even hardly ever get to use my 15 minutes, child. These boys, however, they be taking whole half hour breaks in the damn bathroom, child. Holding up the bathroom from the customer. Lying, talking about they just used the bathroom. Ain't not nail cleaning product up in there. So how was you in the bathroom for a half hour? And hell, if, I, if, if I'm thinking clearly, I don't think they even got the little uh, cleaning um, thing in the bathroom. I think we have to go into the back and get that and clean it. Well, for the folks who work in front, because that's not my area. But uh, how many times I went in that bathroom, I ain't never seen no little cleaning brush. So I guess they're going to say they was peeing for a half hour straight. Okay. But yeah, the, the other women are starting to catch on to that bullshit. I was like, nah, ain't this about a bitch. Now, I darn on, it ain't literally nothing to do in the um, back, right? You forcing me to scrub the darn on, uh, scrub areas that I've already scrubbed multiple times. And y'all over there hiding out. Mm. This is going to be an interesting darn on 20 days, y'all. But anyways, I won't see any of them. I work in the morning time, so. Now the schedule comes out Wednesday. Now I'm banking on, since they got me coming in Wednesday, and I'm normally the weekend girl, right? And since I've already worked two days throughout the week, cause I told her that I'm willing to work one or two days throughout the week, and you can keep me on the weekends. So since I'm coming in Wednesday, theoretically, I shouldn't come back until um, Saturday. I do Saturday and Sunday. But in lieu of one of our coworkers, oh my goodness. Matter of fact, I'm gonna have to message our manager when I get to the house. It's my good girl pal that I used to work at the Chick-fil-A with. She done had some, a medical setback. I ain't gonna air out what her medical issues is on here. But the ambulance had to be called and they don't have to rush her out on the um uh, on the truck <laughs> damn i'm talking about the damn tray but on the uh on the stretcher y'all see i'm i'm so <laughs> I'm, I'm still in work mode talking about rushed out on the tray but yeah y'all they don't took my friend out i was like oh god i hope she's okay i know she's gonna pull through we ain't even gonna uh, we ain't even gonna put no negative out there. But she had to get rushed to the hospital. So she might be out for a few days. And Lord knows I felt like I was about to pass out there. See, that's why they need to hurry up and get that darn on AC fits. Y'all exacerbating people's medical conditions and shit. And then with her condition, it's worse off than mine. It's like she definitely need to be darn on eating something every couple hours. Hell, I'm gonna inquire about that. <laughs> like, uh, with my 15 minute break, 
can I get a little darn on snack or something? Because it's like, hell, now you got people passing out and shit. Got me feeling lightheaded. I think I heard another person was out because of, of illness or whatnot. It's like, this is crazy. So, yeah, that, that's what our day was like. It was pretty steady for once. Like, I didn't see nobody there going to lean in the day, honey. We kept having customers come back to back to back to back. I was like, oh, ain't this a doggone uh, a pleasant change. But not so pleasant because, oh, y'all wait till my black ass get over on this side to doggone bring all these customers. See, when I was on the prep side, it's like y'all motherfuckers are doggone uh, service two people. And then y'all will take y'all ass right to the front and sit down for an hour. Y'all will have hour breaks. Get to scroll the internet and the chat and all this shit. And here I am prepping up the meat. And now when I get over here, I was like, a girl just can't catch a break. Maybe it might come Wednesday. Hell, let me darn gonna be able to take me an hour break. Shit. And, and like I said, what I'm going to start doing, if I can't get no darn on lunch from them, I'm going to darn on sit side my break an hour in advance. And I'm going to start ordering from DoorDash. And that's how we're going to do that. But anyways, y'all, that is pretty much it. We're now going home to get this darn on order off the darn on porch because I know this darn on demon that I live with. <sighs> After the way our darn on week done went down, I know she probably left that, that order right on the porch. I tell y'all, not only am I counting the days down to get away from these folks down here, but I'm counting the days down to get away from this bitch too. So I'll be looking so far to this trip that is coming well it's not really a trip it's business in the next couple months I just got to decide whether I want it to be in the summertime oh. mm, yeah I'll probably do it this summer because I don't want because yeah winter time I want my breast stud and I don't want to be gone during those two weeks from a breast. Because that's double travel. Because where I'm about to go is not in the same state that I'm getting my breast done. This worst mass uncle of mine is creeping up in this darn old patrol. But anyways... Um, damn, motherfucker. It's always somebody darn gonna distract me. But like I said, I don't want this uh, venture that I'm about to go on. I'm speaking in cold for a reason because I don't want to give it away until I get on the live stream with y'all later this week. And then Ernie was, I thought I was going to go live this Wednesday. But it looks like it might be this Friday after all. I'm hoping like hell that I'm off on Friday. And we could do it that Friday. Oh shit. Uh, I don't know. Friday's my freaky Friday. That's going to be a double whammy for y'all. Because I didn't do it last week. Because I had to drop something heavy on y'all about my biological father. I'm thinking. Shoot, maybe this third. Oh. See, I don't like this Thursday. <laughs> Damn. See, now, if we do this Thursday, I ain't no going to have to miss darn on Chase at L.A., which, hell, at this point, I'm like five episodes behind. I'm still going to keep my promise, and I'm going to get the reviews out to y'all, <laughs> but them reviews are going to be hella late because I'm going to group all of them together. Every time it gets close to Thursday, I just save <laughs> all the other ones that I recorded it's going to be like a three, four hour video, child. 
because I don't even feel like they're going to give them individual <laughs> uploads. It's like, mm-mm. We're just going to sync all them clips together. And y'all can, I would time stamp them. Y'all can skip the ones that you don't want to watch. And then you can just watch the ones you do want to watch. That's, that's how I'm treating Darn on Chasing Dallas. Because Chasing Dallas done lost my interest. They ain't got nothing going on productive. And I'm in the space of my life where I want to see fellow people just grinding and hustling. So I've been darn on falling in love with shows such as The Rise of Atlanta. Um, what's the other one? On the Way Up Atlanta and all that. I've been feeling those shows a lot more than darn on chasing. And I'm still trying to figure out when does The Heights come out. Is it in May at this point? Because ain't nobody messaged me or anything to say that the Heights is now on. No, there's going to be a whole lot of stuff in May. Housewives come back on as well. Now, of course, I don't review Housewives, but I, I definitely watch it. But yeah, y'all, that is about it in a nutshell. Oh, Lord. Y'all, I can't believe we're going to be on live real late at night. Normally, I will give y'all an option of like 10 o'clock or something. But with the way that the schedule is, it's like, mm. Because I really want to catch Chasing Dallas when it's on, along with the after show. Because like I say, the chat be a show within itself. And you can't watch the chat on, on replay. At least not on the uh, TV. Now, if I was to pull it up on my uh, phone, I could pull up the chat, but I don't feel like watching it from my phone. So, yeah, y'all. It's, you know, we going live Thursday at like 11 o'clock. Or I might upload the Freaky Friday video early in the morning, which is something I don't normally do. I usually put it late at night. Yeah, y'all, look like it's going to be Thursday because I can't think of no other day. I mean, unless I do it Wednesday night. Yeah, second time I could do that. So the options will be this Wednesday night or Thursday. Friday, I'm just going to save that for the Freaky Friday or whatnot. And to make up for last week, I might drop two videos on Friday. But that is it, y'all. This weather's kicking my ass. As y'all can tell, I've been squinting this whole time. I don't even have allergies. My eyes just is watery. I'm congested. I can't wait to get to this house. Take me some sea moss, and they're gonna take me a nap. So see y'all Wednesday.